But am I right, Claire, when I say that the teaching profession is beset by experts? Am I right? Yeah. Every couple of years, you get a couple down a line, don't they? A couple down a pipe. Yeah. Who've never taught a lesson in their lives, telling you how to do it. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're sat there and they're going, "Well, what we're trying to do, Claire, is reinvent the learning experience, transform the classroom into a not not a place where you're the authority as the teacher, but somewhere where you're leading these children, guiding these children. The pupil is at the center of the learning on a journey through the discovery of stuff, not giving them facts to learn, but to guide them on a blah blah blah." Blah 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 and you think this is my fucking lunch hour. And then you go back to that classroom and teach the same lesson you've taught the last 15 years. Now the point is the shield of waffle, the fog of blah blah. And the most important, our world, we've given our world to experts, that's what we've done. And the most important experts of all are, of course, the experts in the world of high finance. Now, they use an expertise, yeah, that they've dressed up and fooled us, they've tried to fool us all into thinking it's the real deal, right? And they use a thing that the lads, Ben, you may have heard of, a thing called economics. Now, have you heard of that, son? Yeah, he has, you, 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 yeah? <laughs> Yeah, economics. Yeah. Now, economics, of course, they dress it up as a science, yeah? They tell you you can study at university for three years, four years, five years, ten years, yeah? And they've got all the words to go with their expertise, haven't they? Like, like GDP and GMP and all that stuff and inflation and growth and all that stuff and, uh, you know, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But here's the truth, lads. Yeah, economics, yeah, names are important. Economics had to change its name because we were onto them, yeah? Because its original name was actually... Reconomics, right? Because that's all economics actually involves, right? Reckoning stuff, yeah? Yeah, that's what they do. They have a look at the figures, they go, yeah, I reckon it'll go up this week. And that's it. <laughs> and they can spend three, five, ten years at university, but that's all they're fucking doing. Reckoning, right? Yeah. Now, Ben, have you heard of credit? Because I, I, I said I would explain to you the world financial system in under half a pint. Here we go, right? Here's global finance in under half a pint, right? Yeah? Dead simple, right? You've got reckoning, so economics, people reckoning stuff, right? And then you've got credit. Now, do you know what credit is, Ben? You pay something. Yeah, you're borrowing money. Borrowing, you're borrowing, borrowing money. That's what you think it is. You're borrowing money. Yeah, yeah. Well, it ain't borrowing, right? Yeah? You've got a best mate, you lend him your football, yeah? You want that football back three months later? Does he have to give you two and a half footballs? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> he just gives you the one football back. Because you lent in the football, you want it back. It's that simple, yeah? Yeah. However, you want to borrow 500 quid from the bank, yeah? You're not borrowing that money, son. You're buying it off the bastards, yeah? <laughs> you want 500 quid, you've got to pay him 1,200 quid for the fucking privilege, yeah? And that 700 pound difference, that's called interest. And the reason it's called interest, ladies and gentlemen, is because you'd be interested if you were doing that deal. Now, the thing is... <laughs> So, yeah, you see? And why is it called credit? What does credit mean? Do you know what it means? It comes from a Latin word. You need to go to more pub quizzes, son. Not to Thailand, right? Yeah. <laughs> broaden your mind. It's called credit because it comes from a Latin word, credo. I believe, yeah? That's all it is. Credit, yeah, the borrowing and lending of money is a belief system, right? You believe it, right? You believe, and we've ended up in this amazing situation. I mean, the bank believes you're going to pay off your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you reach the point where you believe you're going to pay off your fucking credit card. <laughs> People believe mental rubbish, don't they, right? And this is the problem. The whole world of global, global finance relies on some people reckoning stuff and some people believing it, yeah? Economics and credit. Reckoning, belief. Now, uh, do you know what debt is as well, Ben? It's the third component. Do you know what it is? Yeah, when you run out of money. No, no, it's not when you run out of money. No, it's when the bank stops believing you, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's doubt, yeah? Yeah. Debt is doubt. The bank doesn't believe you anymore. You lose your credit, you're fucked. It's that simple. Yeah, because they doubt you. Look, Alex, this is, this is how the world of global finance works. Yeah, because we're currently in the hands of the markets. And who are the markets? A bunch of appalling bastards and the women prepared to hang out with them, right? That's who. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? And this is how it works. Monday morning, London Stock Exchange. The lad's coming. All right there, Gary, how you fucking doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant weekend, Keith. Have you heard of that place called Bristol? We went up there, we smashed in all the fucking windows. It's awesome. Yeah, fantastic, yeah? And no one even noticed. <laughs> 
And they get out the Financial Times to look at the figures in Monday morning's Financial Times so they can get reckoning, use their reconomic powers to begin reckoning. Now, now everyone knows Monday morning's figures in Monday's Financial Times, they can't be Monday morning's figures, can they? That's impossible, because no trading has occurred on Monday morning, has it? Yeah? So they can't be Monday's figures. So obviously, they're Friday night's figures, yeah? Now, as we all know, there's no way they're Friday night's figures, because no one does a stroke of work on Friday if they could possibly fucking avoid it. So, <laughs> Obviously, they're Thursday's figures. Now, everyone knows you don't do on Thursday what you put off what you did on Wednesday, yeah? Which you decided to do on Tuesday, which you were told to do on fucking Monday. So, Monday morning's <laughs> figures in the Financial Times are obviously last Monday's fucking figures in the Financial Times. <laughs> They bear no relevance to today. They're probably from last month, last year, 10 years ago, maybe even 25 years ago when a volcano went off. Who knows, right? <laughs> but they get looking, they get reckoning. They've got nothing to do with today, tomorrow, next week, next month, 10 years down the line, but they use them anyway as their guide. They have a look and go, well, oh, well, what do you reckon, Gary? I reckon tin's going up. Yeah, I think that's probably going up. What about copper? Yeah, I reckon copper will go up as well. What about um, them derivatives? Yeah, I don't know what they are, mate, but let's fucking buy some anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Now, so they've done their reckoning, they've now got to get someone to believe in them. They go see the boss, they knock on his door. Yeah? Oh, uh, come on in, chaps, how you doing? Fantastic, great to see you. <laughs> Bloody marvellous. Come on in, come on in, okay. So, have you had a look? Yeah, okay. Well, you know they're not this morning's figures. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell you what, um, I, I reckon copper's going up, reckon tin's going up, reckon pharmaceuticals are a pretty good bet. I think some of those derivatives as well, chaps, though, I'll be honest with you, I haven't a simple clue what they fucking are. Okay, so. <laughs> So, should we do that? OK, right, I'll tell you what, I'll call my brother at the bank. He believes anything I tell him, it's fantastic. But <laughs> he'll lend me the money, we can get it cracking, jolly good, let's carry on, yeah? So, he, they, they go out on the trading floor and they get going, and I'll buy some of that copper, please, some of that tin, please, some of them derivatives. No, no, mate, no, not a clue, but I need some anyway, right? And up it goes. Up it goes, the market becomes confident. Ah, 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 ah. Up it goes, it goes up, the footsie goes up. Yeah, none of you know what that fuck it is. It's on the news every night, you go, oh, right, and you don't know what it is, do you? <laughs> no one does, so up it goes, yeah? An hour of brisk trading, as they say in the financial world, occurs, yeah? And then the phone rings. On the line, it's Frankfurt, the bourse in Frankfurt, the most important money market on continental Europe. That's right, the Germans are calling. <laughs> Hello, England! <laughs> es ist Frankfurt hier! Frankfurt, rufen Sie! Rufen Sie England! Hello, England! Es ist Frankfurt hier! Mein kleiner Engländer Freund! Es ist Frankfurt! Deutschland! Deutschland, rufen Sie! Ich... <lacht> Deutschland, rufen Sie England! Ich möchte sprechen mit England, bitte schön! Bitte schön, England! England, es ist Deutschland, ja, Deutschland, ich möchte sprechen mit England, mit der London Stock Exchange, bitte schön. Hallo, 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 hallo. Deutschland, ja, Deutschland auf. <lacht> Deutschland, rufen Sie mein Freund, ich möchte sprechen mit England. <lacht> is that you, Fritz? <lacht> 